Asset Depreciation Codes Straight Line versus Reduced Balance Depreciation is the method of allocating the cost of a tangible asset over its useful life. Businesses depreciate long-term assets for both tax and accounting purposes. The former affects the balance sheet of a business or entity, and the latter affects the net income that they report. CISPRO allows different depreciation types or methods to be applied to assets, such as straight line, reduced balance, fixed EUL, statistical EUL, declining balance with switch, declining balance without switch, sum of year digits, and remaining value over remaining life. Depreciation codes can be applied to all depreciation books, like book value, tax value, and all alternate valuations. Straight line depreciation. The simplest and most commonly used method, straight line depreciation is calculated by taking the purchase or acquisition price of a fixed asset, subtracting the salvage value, which is the value at which it can be sold once the company no longer needs it, and dividing by the total productive years for which the asset can reasonably be expected to benefit the company. Take Lenny. Lenny's just bought an automated conveyor belt for his factory. It cost him $120,000 to buy and has an estimated salvage value of $8,000. It should last five years before better equipment is needed. Straight line depreciation will work as follows. The cost minus the estimated salvage value divided by its lifespan will equal the total depreciation amount each year of $22,400. This means that the machine will depreciate by 18.6% each year. Reducing balance depreciation. The reducing balance method charges depreciation at a higher rate in the earlier years of an asset. The amount of depreciation reduces as the life of the asset progresses. Note that the asset is never fully depreciated when using this method. Back at Lenny's factory, he now has a computer set up that cost him $4,000 and will be worth $300 at the end of three years. Because technology is constantly growing, the first year's depreciation will be the highest. However, the rate of depreciation will remain constant at 30%. In a reducing balance depreciation situation, the cost minus the salvage value multiplied by the depreciation rate will give us the depreciation value of $1,110. For the next year, we will subtract our depreciation value from our cost and use this new value in our previous equation of cost minus salvage times depreciation rate to get that year's depreciation value of $777. This will continue until the asset's life cycle ends. As you can see, the depreciation from year 1 to year 2 remained the same at 30%, but the value decreased due to the lower initial cost. To recap, straight line depreciation is where a fixed asset depreciates by the same value every year or financial period and by a fixed percentage. This is useful if you expect the asset to offer constant functionality or have a constant depreciation, like a building or fixed machinery. Reducing balance depreciation is where an asset has a high depreciation in the first period, which slowly decreases as time goes on, even though the rate of depreciation is the same. This is better for assets that have better functionality in their early stages of use, like computer equipment. Straight line is a more accurate method of asset depreciation when dealing with fixed assets, whereas reducing balance depreciation is more common with assets that will be technologically obsolete in later years.